another video. This video in particular is going to be going over what you need to know for a micro, specifically at Galen College. So I know some people have gone to different colleges and have taken microbiology, but this one is specifically tailored to Galen. So we are just going to jump right into it because it is a whole ordeal. All right, so Galen College of Nursing and Microbiology. Let me just start by saying that I was holding on by a thread the entire time. But first things first, you're going to get a microbiology book. This book particularly is called Microbiology for Nursing Professionals. Um, I particularly think that from my other microbiology classes, this one was more specifically tailored to just the microorganisms and the microbiology of like, um, and not only the organisms, but the funguses and bacteria and viruses and protozoas, you know, all the fun stuff that happens in microbiology. But I do want to say that on top of having to maintain that 72 or 74 percent grade point average within the class, you don't get a whole lot of busy work. Um, it's mainly just exams and quizzes and discussions. Now for those discussions, you would particularly have to read the chapters in order to answer the discussion boards. And those discussion boards are gonna be going over mainly whatever is in the chapters, not just so much what would be on like your PowerPoint. Um, it's gonna be mostly in the book. The PowerPoints are more so to help you with your exams which in my particular class, my teacher posted exams, she posted quizzes, we had discussion boards, and sometimes we had like interactive activities. But for the most part, it was just discussion boards, quizzes, and exams. We did have weekly quizzes, which would be 12 quizzes in total, and we only had four exams. We did maybe two or three group projects, for busy work, um, but that didn't happen very often. And the busy work is not really graded to actually help your final grade. It's more so just like extra little points you can get throughout the course. Now, a little background about the course in general. When you start the course, they're just gonna throw you to the wolves, okay? Um, you're gonna go right into reading like two chapters, maybe three. I had three. I've heard other students say they had two. And you're going to have a quiz that first week. You're also going to have a discussion board that first week. But we all know the first week discussion board is just introducing yourself, things about yourself, why you're in nursing school, why you chose Galen College, you know, things like that. But my, my teacher also posted a week one discussion board that covered the readings and stuff from the PowerPoint. Um, and when it comes to the readings, I personally like to use highlighters in order to make sure that I can find the information later. I'll also tag it in my book with like a sticky note, you know, the little sticky notes that are about this big that you can stick on the page that kind of stick out from the book. I like to use those that helped out a lot as well as like the different colored highlighters. I also would take notes on my tablet and I try to organize them in the folder. Not so much like, oh, this is just for microbiology, but I had like a microbiology folder. And then within that folder, it was like week one, week two, week three, you know, so forth and so on. So that's how I did with my reading. I had a hard book and then I also had an ebook. So that helped out a lot as well. My class was online and I had Zoom meetings twice throughout the week that were about two and a half to three hours in length for meeting time. And the exams were also online as well as the quizzes. When it came to the PowerPoints, I would often save the PowerPoints in a PowerPoint folder that was inside my fundamentals folder. And if you guys want me to show you how I have this organized, just let me know and I will post a video explaining all that as well. But I would have a folder specifically for PowerPoints, for um, exam review, for, you know, like um, book chapters. But for the PowerPoint section, I would have a folder inside of the microbiology folder. And then inside that folder, I would have like week one's PowerPoint, week two's PowerPoints 
Um, and that's how I kept up with that as well. There's also other things that my teacher did. Um, she did not do exam review. That's something I want to put out. You might get an instructor who does not do exam review, like my instructor. Um, and I can explain to you guys other ways that I did things to try to make it easier to do like my own exam review. But my teacher did post um, little ways of doing exam reviews like with Jeopardy games or Kahoot games. You guys, if you were in game in college, you know what a Kahoot is. So the only college I've been to that does Kahoots, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And those were kind of helpful. And I say kindful, kind of because everything that was in those games wasn't necessarily everything that was going to be on the quiz or on the exam um this particular class is going to really test your knowledge it's really going to test your ability to think critically it's also really going to test your ability to understand and memorize the definitions for things and what things actually are like what is a protozoa a protozoa what is a bacterium between a bacterium and a virus or a fungus the different types of funguses and bacteria and viruses um, like for instance you need to know what c diff is and you need to know what pneumonia is and there's different kinds of pneumonia so you need to know what's the difference what makes those pneumonias different um, and not only that, but also just the process in itself. One of the biggest tips that I can give is that when you're trying to understand microbiology, the best thing you can do is to literally try to understand the process. Don't try to memorize the information because it's seemed easier i'm not gonna say it's easier but it seemed easier to me to try to comprehend the information than to just try to memorize the information um your instructor might also go over um antibiotics or antivirals um or antifungals they may give you like a medication sheet that gives you the different types of antivirals, antibacterials, and antifungals, and what they're generally used for and what their specific action is. Um, you're also going to be going over um, the way that the body functions from your immune system to your um, cells, like your red blood cells, your white blood cells, your leukocytes, and you're going to be going over um, how you get your immunity, whether it's passive or active immunity. You're also going to be engaging the difference between, like, um, you're also going to be differentiating different the difference between when you would give a patient lactated ringers and when you would give a patient normal saline. That's going to help you understand the difference by knowing the process and understanding the entire concept in microbiology not just trying to remember it um, my instructor in particular did kind of go over lab values to try to tie into how it all works together but if you're one of those people who just can't tie it all together just yet i wouldn't really pay attention to that part too much because you're going to go over it when you get into your um, foundations of nursing which is your fundamentals course at Galen so it's not like a huge deal to know that part but it is good if you you know don't have a problem con like grasping that part of it as well um, another thing that I want to point out is that you really have to make time to study in this course this is a very detailed course to be only 12 weeks I normally had about three chapters to read at a time for each quiz well each quiz and exam and each exam had information from the previous chapters as well so you also have to retain that information in order to answer some of the questions that would be on your new exam from your previous exam 
and they're not going to be the same questions but it's just going to kind of grasp the concept from the previous chapters so you it's just best that you try to understand it and not so much try to memorize it outside of all the negative stuff um I'm not a fan of microbiology. The information that I have learned from the class has not only helped me understand why we do the things that we do when we get into our fundamentals course, but it also helps me understand the way that the body works with these things. Like for instance, a person who has an autoimmune deficiency you would be able to determine what kind of immunity they have when you're doing your assessment on them and you see that they had been diagnosed with this in the past. That would be able to help you to distinguish what type of passive immunity they have and what kind of active immunity they have and how well it's working. Because we have our first lines of defense, which is like our skin, our normal flora. And you know, once they get past that, then we're on to our second line of defense, which is when we get our fevers and we generally just don't feel well and you know our heart rate gets a little faster, blood pressure may go up a little bit, we may start getting some symptoms, but we're not, you know, our body's trying to fight it off. And then, you know, you get into that third line of defense, which is when you're really ill and you have the different stages of how the viruses you know take over the immune system but that's all how you start to identify all of that with your passive and active immunity and for someone who has that autoimmune that um that autoimmune deficiency then you would be able to distinguish how their body's going to deal with whatever they have going on and also how to determine what you're going to be giving them based on what they have going on and how their immunity is working so the class may be very hard, very hard. And the class may be, you know, very time consuming. I don't even really want to say maybe I want to say it is, but for some people it just may not be that difficult. But for me, it was a very hard class. Like I said, your girl was riding on thin ice the entire time. But C's get degrees, so that's all that matters. But at the end of the day, it does tie into what you're going to take with you to your next course at Galen, at Galen. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can just remember everything just for the class and then just drop it after the class because then you're going to be kind of confused. So it is good to know all the stuff that that's in there or at least 50% of it. It's honestly quite hard to remember every single thing that they go over in that class but it is good to try to retain as much of it as you can the last thing i want to point out is that like i mentioned in my last video having a planner is very good especially when you have multiple classes last quarter i had microbiology and i had ethics as well and i can make a video on my ethics class if you guys want um, but i feel like ethics is pretty straightforward um, but if you guys want me to make a video on my ethics class at Galen College, please just let me know in the comments and I will do so. It was a pretty straightforward class. I loved my instructor. Um, but yeah, a planner is super helpful in this class um, because there's just things that are due at different times. When your discussion boards are due every week, like I mentioned before, you guys, you have to make your initial post by the fourth day of the week. And then you have, you know, the rest of the week to get your two responses in on separate days, all three on separate days. Um, and some teachers even have like a minimum word requirement that you have to have in your discussion post and in your, re your um, response to your peers. So having a planner is very good to have in this class because you have to make time to study. You have to make time to study. Um, and you have to make time to do your discussion boards and take your quizzes and schedule for your exam. And it's, it's good to have a planner. Um, as you guys probably don't know yet, I don't think I told you guys, um, but I am working. So having a planner is very good with time management. Um, which I think I'll do a video, I think I'll do a video on um, 
working as a nurse extern and how to get hired as a nurse extern. Um, so if you guys want me to do that too, post that in the comments and I will make one of those for sure. Um, because that is a thing. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it is a thing. But yeah, having a planner is the most important thing if you ask me. And that's why I always save it for last because it is really, truly helpful. And also, you know, studying the way that works best for you, that's also really helpful too. So if you guys have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time and we will get more into any other details that you guys want to know about.